Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts. We do another unboxing, another breakdown, another demo. This is Digimon World, the Digimon next order. World, next uh, this order. is a uh, pretty interesting game that is actually a pretty involvement of my, uh, pretty much of my past. This is kind of a, how do you say, not a remaster, but I don't want to also say a reboot. It's basically a, a big homage to the, back, the, the past original Digimon World game. Now, I don't know how many people really play Digimon World, or frankly, Digimon games in general. Digimon is kind of the underdog in the uh, Monster Rancher kind of world. And this game is uh, really, really well done for those who really like the original Digimon World game. But before I go into involvement into that, I want to point out that this game allows you to pick up both a male and a female character, which is a massive improvement in my opinion, as well as that it also allows you to name your character, as well as their English voice acting in the game. Now, the only major gripe I also have was when you buy this game, there is a 2 gigabyte update for the game Rise You and uh, Rise You Play Start It Up. So, I was a little disappointed about that, but the game is made on the Unity engine, and Unity engine just generally always seems to have kind of massive updates from what I have seen. Because I've always heard that the program is e cheaper to work with, they, they, they work with a lot better, but their program is not as good as like Unreal Engine and stuff like that, but that's not a shocker. But all in all, that's my only little big gripe about that. It's basically bug fixes and um, balancing problems and stuff like that from the Digimon. But I have not experienced any bugs yet of my play. But man, the game is pretty long and a lot to do. Well, to jump in, Digimon World is a kind of a, how do you say, a pet raising simulator. Almost the best way to describe it. There's not too many games of this type out there. So this is why this is so fascinating that they kind of did this homage to the original Digimon World game because a lot of people played the original PS1 Digimon World game it's a very unique experience then after that they made Digimon World 2 and 3 which were more of a classical RPG turn-based name where you just raise up Digimon in the traditional form and just did turn-based RPG dance fighting while Digimon World the first one and this one goes back to the original style where basically you're the trainer and you have a uh, the Digimon is your pet Instead of you having like full control over your Digimon, you have to be able to try to work with your Digimon much like a dog. Like you're trying to train a dog. The dog will listen to your orders and stuff like that, but sometimes you can't help that the animal might do something you have no control over. It's just how it's supposed to resemble itself. It's supposed to be like back to the original Digimon. I don't know if you ever had those little pocket digital devices that like you raise the animal. They're really old. I don't even know if they still make those things anymore, but they probably do. But it's basically trying to simulate those kind of that kind of style where you take care of the Digimon, you feed the Digimon, you train the Digimon, you take the Digimon to the bathroom, you have to give the Digimon medicine if they get sick or if they get hurt, you gotta give them a bandage to heal them. It's a very, very pet simulator game, but you're working with Digimon where they evolve and get stronger and better. And depending on how you raise them and how you treat them, it would affect their evolution of digivolving. This was very hard in the original first Digimon World game because back then you didn't have access like the internet and stuff like that or just the internet was not as as bloom as it is today as well as this game allows you to get an idea of what you need to do to evolve them. This gives it a little bit more easier way to get to, to, to evolve your Digimon than in the past one. It's basically like I said the first one but with lots of improvements. They just allowed more in there, a lot of more tweaking and stuff like that, and as well allowed you to raise two Digimon instead of one. But as I said before, this is a pet, like a pet simulator game. So if you don't, if you get annoyed by having to take care of an animal or something like that, or you don't want to have that burden, this is not going to be the game for you because these Digimon are going to be just like an animal. They're going to go to the bathroom. They're going to have to eat. They're going to have to be named, treated depending on how you choose to treat them. They probably want praise or to be disciplined because they're not going to listen to you. It's a very difficult game in that form, so not everyone is just going to just easily go with it. But if those who have took the time to play it can really see the charm in the game, because there's not too many games like this. And this is why I'm just amazed that they actually remade this game like this. Because it's such a unique and different game compared to the norm. And as well as training, it all depends on the day and the time and who you have at the time of the training. And it will affect how boosted their training. And other Digimon, of course, are better skilled in other areas. And this is another improvement. They had the slot machine thing here. And the original first Digimon World, this was really hard to do. And frankly, was not worth the effort to doing it. But this one allowed to approve it where you can actually like influence it. Like name the type thing will go by and hit the land on a bonus. And it will just give you a Digimon a bigger bonus. 
as well as like I said, I mean, the the Digimon are now a little bit more easier to work with in the battles. While in the first one, it was kind of difficult here and there sometimes, but the game wasn't super super hard. But it was not easy if you didn't know what you're doing. But in this one, you allow to be able to issue out better commands and stuff like that from the guard and standpoint and when to order and when to attack, as well as let your Digimon do what they want to do. Basically, you're just there to oversee to make sure nothing goes wrong in the battle, especially for fighting boss fights, because boss fights are not easy in this game. You have to become well prepared and well equipped for your uh, endeavors. The only other disappointing thing was, I also was a little disappointed, Fishing does not have a minigame. Now, I know a lot of people are not super fan of minigames, but I generally found that it made the experience less rewarding without a single minigame. Now, the first Digimon World had a minigame for Fishing. I was a little disappointed on that. Now, I've been trying to dug into this game as much as I can, but it is a very long game, and it's a very... Man, it's not, let's say, story-long-wise, but let's say that the, the time and effort it takes to find all the Digimon properly raise your Digimon and feeding them the right items and weight and balancing it's a very very uh, minute or tweaking that you have to do to make sure to get everything right and that's just part of this the game and the game's charm is that it's if it's your dedication to take care of your Digimon I'm just like I said I am just at all and amazed that they actually took the time to remake this game now, like I said, I, the best way I can describe it is just is, is a more of a pet simulating, uh, taking care of your animal. Now, more Digimon can be on the battlefield than what you see here, like one uh, of the slime monsters, I forget their name right off the top of my head right now, but uh, like if you get ones caught in the single fight, some might run, some might join, and as you get stronger, Digimon will be afraid of you. It's just, I mean, it depends on how you evolve your Digimon, as well as that you're able now to, like, cheer up your Digimon in the background to raise their boost. Now, bear in mind, when your enemy's about to, uh, your Digimon's about to attack and hit his damage, that's when you want to cheer. That gives a bigger boost of their uh, order points. So, spare that in mind. But... This game is just as addicting as it was in the very first one when I was a kid. I logged many, many hours in the first one. And I can see myself putting many more hours into this. It's just, this is more a bigger, how do you say, game that if you're not really into Digimon, you might have a hard time just get up and going on this game. You might want to look up, like, uh, Digimon, uh... Cyber Story Sleuth, I think that was the name. I hope I get the name right. That one's a more classical turn RPG. That one resembles more of Digimon World 2 and kind of Digimon World 3. Now, if I can just beg for the creators of this, of uh, uh, the Digimon World games, that they both made both of these, if they can make another game, and that's Digimon Digital Card Battle. That is a very, very overlooked and underlooked card game on the PlayStation 1. It is a lot of fun and a lot of dedication to that game. And if they, since they remastered the uh, Digimon War 1 and 2, kind of, and they remastered the original, or re, not remastered, but let's just say reimagined, if you will, of the first one, I would love a Digimon Digital Card Battle. And please don't make it free to play. Just make a physical copy like they did like in the PS1 days, and then just make it worth a Digital Card Battle. I recommend it. If you like Digimon, or you like what you see, or you like card games, you look up Digimon Digital Card Battle. It's a lot of fun. But I know I'm off subject. I just want to point that game out. I hope they can remake that game as well. This game is just about those who want to dedicate the time. Because this is a time-consuming game. It's not just some game you're just going to pick up and beat really quickly. Now, if you can try to breeze through the story really quickly, you can. But if you're going to try to unlock all the Digimon, get all the abilities, and all the stuff you got to do, it's going to take you a while. Because there's so many Digimon. There's over 200 Digimon in the game. Not only that, each uh, power in the game you have to find by battling, you have to unlock as well. So, I mean, at first you're really weak, but as you fight more fights, you unlock more abilities for your Digimon to fight. As well as that you, the trainer, will also have uh, your own experience where you can unlock more abilities for yourself. Like, you can take care of the Digimon better and look over the Digimon better and so on and so forth. It's just their own, you have your own skill tree. As well as you try to get people to join the city, the Digimon City, as well as to expand it and make it grow and get bigger. It's Like I said, there's a lot to do in this game, and I'm just so happy that they actually okay. went back and made yeah. this game. This game is just Time such a charm, that. and I just, I'm so glad because I've always wanted a, re, uh, a reimagine, or how do you say, a remaster, or however you want to see it, of the original first Digimon World game, and they did it flawlessly. It is what it is and what it's supposed to be, a pet-raising Digimon simulator game. 
So, like always, I will leave down the links down in the description. And as a bonus, I did get the pre-order redeem code for this. I did not activate it. I will leave the redeem code down at the bottom for anybody who wants it. I don't know what it is or what it does. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoy it. So, thank you all for watching, like always. And I appreciate every single one of you. And if you love Digimon as much as I do, look up this game. It's well worth it. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.